It's been a few months since I worked on the Hydro and it's finally time for me to assemble my Pelton wheel. Previously we tried this Turgle and it ran quite well and quite smooth. And I wanted to try a similar one in size, exactly the same, which is uh, 12 inches, but in the Pelton. So I'm making my own wheels. I try to calculate the distance according to some formulas online as far as how they should be spaced. And it looks a little funky at a shape. So this is the one that came up with the right values, but I'm also gonna try a couple of different number of uh, Pelton spoons on there. So I'll be assembling these three wheels and I got a new uh, case made for, for this because it has to be lined up perfectly with the uh, with the Pelton cups. And, and this comes in 105, well this one, uh, I bought 100, I ended up with 105. Uh, and, and so I should have enough here to assemble the three wheels and I got my stainless steel hardware to uh, assemble it. Now let me put together the three wheels and we'll assemble the hydro housing. Before I assemble them, I have to clean these holes because this is laser cut and even though the, the holes are pretty close, they still have a little some burrs in there and the stainless steel, if it gets hung up on the nuts, uh, locks up pretty good. So yeah, I need to clean them all up, make sure that the screws fit nicely. So let's, uh, let me get my drill bit in, in the drill for that. If any of these little pieces get caught on the threads of the stainless steel screws, it locks them up pretty good. Sometimes they even end up breaking when you try to remove them. So I gotta make sure I clean it really good. that need to be cleaned off. Right. Right, this one cleaned up, now I gotta do the other one. I need a little file for this here. this here it should be should be fine hopefully all of them will be fine I won't catch any birds in there so I guess we'll start hopefully I have enough 
spruce. I might not have enough hardware. I might have to order some more. quicker, a little more efficient. Pretty snug, pretty precise. Oh, that one slid right in. Doesn't always work that way though. Oh boy, what's going on there? That didn't sound good. Hopefully the threads that are gonna get messed up, messed up. So, how many do we have here? 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. <clears throat> See, is, so this is a 24. 24 spoons. We're still not done yet. We got a what are we, 24 on this side too. 24 spoons. And now we got to put all these knots on here and hopefully there are no messed up threads because then that would be an issue. Now this, uh, these are so close together that the other knot, you got to line that up just right in a flat, a flat spot so you can get the other knot in there. So this, uh, it's quite exciting. So I'm going to have to um, drive them from the other side. Oops. I'm going to have to uh, drive them in with the Phillips screwdriver from the other side so I can, because they're right against each other and when I allow it to freely spin. I'm using all nylon lock knots so they won't come loose. Got to make sure that the screw goes past the nylon part so it secures it. I've seen some that they sell where they, the screws are so short they don't even come up to the nylon so obviously they'll come loose. I saw Chris Harbour's uh, wheel, the Pelton he purchased, his wheel came apart and that's because the screws were just too short. You've got to make sure that at least it makes it pass or I've just passed the top of the nut, securing it with the nylon, at least a sixteenth of an inch above that. I think I'm going to have about an eighth.
So they all seem to be pretty good. They're about yeah, about a, an eighth inch out. Now this one is not in all the way. This is the one that messed up. So we'll see. I'll try to take it out and redo it and see how it goes. And once it messes up, it's best to get rid of the screw and put a new one in. Because if you try to mess with it, it'll bind right up. And then you'll have a hell of a time. So this is garbage. And I'll just put a new screw in there. And a new nut. I wouldn't even mess with that nut either. Best not to risk it. Okay. Now that one is in there nicely. They're all, and you see that uh, they're all protruding through the nylon seal or, or um, grip, except for another one here. Let's see if this one goes in. If it doesn't, we'll replace it. Yeah, that one ran right in. So everything looks pretty good. So our 24 is ready. And this one here, I need to secure it. It's not tight. I should have brought in the first ones like I did this one here before because they're all loose. They're all just hand tight. So I'll tighten this one, order some more and then assemble them. I finished assembling the three Pelton runners and now I'm gonna transfer my generator over to my new Pelton housing.
Oh, that's a little tight there. I'm going to have to clear that. They didn't give you enough clearance here. This belting unit is assembled and we'll go test it out at the hydro pit alongside this other two. I have a 16 spoon installed and I'm going to try a 20 and a 24. That's a pretty large dragonfly. Let's see if we can get my hand in there. He's a good size, he's a good looking boy too. I'm gonna get an ant crawling up my arm. Here, eat that bug, will you? It's trying to get me. You can fly? Look at the little wings flapping away. Pretty cool.